Jeremy's is chaotic. He's got the ship's wheel and the anger and negative. Then he's got the tentacles going all over the place. I asked him to put everything inside the octopus, and he did. Steve thinks my design is too busy. If you over detail it, it's going to be out of control. He thinks I should have gone simpler with this, but it's important for me to show the judges what a Jeremy Brown tattoo really looks like. For this elimination tattoo, you must prove that you have solid fundamentals by tattooing a maze. Oh. Welcome to Ink Master. That's crazy, man. I hope you guys got them lines. Anything can go wrong in a maze. You gotta have the balls and confidence to pull a solid single pass line and make sure it's there in parallel to everything else. We got this. The whole owl idea is for my daughter. How old's your daughter? She's six. She just turned six. If it's for your daughter, yeah. we can definitely make the owl's face way more feminine. Yeah, because I want it like softer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just... We can do a hairband with like a little flower. She could wear a charm necklace. Would that sound cool? That's pretty cool to me. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I'm really vibing with my canvas. I know exactly what I want to design. It's gonna be great. And the client are really clicking, you know? Yeah. It's a little girl out. So it's gonna have a little hairband bow. She's gonna be holding a toy maze looking up at you. Sounds like a lot. You and him sat down, came up with this concept, oh. but you didn't think about executing it. Here, they're gonna f rip your owl up if it looks dumb. The wings are off the neck, like this, it has no body. This is like a scarf. So forget about what you and him talked about. Come up with a different idea and draw it nice. Seriously? I already started a plan of attack in my head to go after this, and now I'm screwed. Don't we think, have fun with it, man. Breathe and loosen up. It's it. hard when you. Oh. I'm getting questioned every And I apologize, seconds. man. I'm the one that was up there and I gave you that wrong pick. No, I, you I, just, know, I got screwed up with all those people, but it just bums me out. Yep. I'm having a really tough time with my drawing. It's just hard to get my head back in the game. I got DJ breathing over my shoulder. That's his job. I love input, but now I'm ready to just rock myself. I can't do like the idea I talked to him about if I'm doing this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he's just stuck with this. So I'm just trying to figure out like maybe. Sparks is really combative. If he doesn't start really listening to me, then he's not gonna make it anywhere. Two hours to go. Two more hours. I was gonna do brown as the floor of it. You got a lot of dark, so. Maybe if I just give it a light whip. Well, that's still pretty dark, so. Is it? Okay. Don't do any more black. Leave the maze all negative for now. I'm second guessing myself constantly, which never should happen when you're tattooing. You want to think about the owl's shading? This is With like, like drop shadows of the wings and stuff? Yeah, I mean, not too heavy to where it's too that heavy. hidden. I really feel like you can see my frustration in this tattoo. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a maze. Sparks. From a distance, these colors together just get pretty muddy looking. Too much black. There's a lot more light that you could bring into this thing. These colors stand alone are bright, but doing that much black and having no air to breathe gives it that muddy, stagnant, solid feel. You know what I mean? That's why I didn't want to go like super nuts with the color. So we were talking but... about no wall-to-wall -wall saturation. I mean, we went over a lot of stuff. Just listen to me, dude. I'm here because I know about this competition. Was anyone like super upset at their critique? If I were Sparks, I'd be pretty bummed out. I felt like his coach didn't come to his aid the same way that he did everyone else on his team. Yeah, you straight threw him under the bus, like compared to everybody else. That's what you think? My idea is my voice got on. Your first drawing, we got torn apart a hundred times more. I didn't even get to finish my drawing, DJ. That You didn't have to. I was halfway through it, and you were like, no, no, no. You didn't even listen to my first piece of advice while we were drawing. Everyone else because did. Because I don't trace my dude. I don't look at just to copy it. I look but do you look at, at stuff for feel. reference? After I get the original idea down, yeah, I clean it up. Backwards, Dude, that's man. just how I work. Everybody works different. I don't draw like you, I don't work well, like you, and then I'm taking your advice in the simplest didn't. thing. No, that, dude. I didn't want to say anything. About I didn't what? bring this up. I did. You did. What'd you just say? You just said me? Bro, can I trade this mother to one other team? I will take a trade. Yeah, take a trade, because you're the only mother that doesn't listen. I've been listening. I'll let the you whole listen. Time. I'll coach my, my team. Drawing I will coach the, the rest team. of my team. I'll exclude you now. This week, your coaches are two extremely talented artists who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Josh Payne. Oh my god. Oh my god. And Nikki Simpson. Oh, there you go. Nikki Simpson. If there's anybody that's as big a loud mouth and as big a confrontational person as I am, she might be the one. This is oh, gonna be fun. Today, you must turn a mistake into a masterpiece. 
by tattooing a cover-up. My life. If there's anything I don't enjoy dealing with, it's someone else's mistakes. You have to design a tattoo as a cover-up that genuinely just looks like a solid piece of work. Let's meet your canvases. Here we go. Uh, I want a colorful lion head with the crown on top. A colorful cat silhouette with a galaxy inside. Galaxy is used a lot in tattooing for cover-ups. Probably the easiest, most organic thing you could do. Anybody that gets this is going to do a good job. Which one were you wanting to do? The lion. You're not going to jump. Shut your do. damn mouth right now. Would you want to do the cat galaxy one too? Dude, I don't. But I don't want to put you somewhere you're not comfortable. I don't feel confident. If she, I okay. feel like I would do the lion way better. What well, we talked about this morning, but I'm not giving in the hard ones over what we want the most. Fine, I'll do the cat. Sucker, that's like the one I did not want. We good? We got this. Let's win it. Yeah. Let's go. She's open to just having a cat. We'll end flower. Cool. Stay away from a jaguar or something because that's like Chris's spirit animal. He will rip it apart. I can rock it out though. You're gonna lose depth. You're gonna lose contrast. You're gonna lose everything. I am just a little bit flustered that Josh isn't budging on his idea of what the tattoo should look like. Really don't think I would go don't, home on don't. I've had to prove myself every single day of my career. I can do this. I'll send you the bill for 25 grand you cost me. And I'm telling you, that is the absolute dumbest idea. Worst choice you can make. Four hours remaining. Four hours remaining. Yeah. Did exactly you what you told me not to do. Just the most exquisite listener I have ever met in my life. You are I want to prove to myself that I can do this, that I can do a good tattoo, a solid tattoo. Throughout my career, I've been told that I won't get that far and all that stuff. Yeah. So am I brave enough to step forward and be vulnerable? And I think that is a huge thing for me. Like Today, you had to tattoo a cover up. Janelle. You have an attractive looking tattoo. You do a great job with the cover up. There's nothing that's gonna show through from that tattoo. But you did a very flat, non detailed image. Your outlines are pretty shaky in here. The outline on the top of the head, the outline around the bottom of that black hook on the leaf on the bottom, there's challenges left and right on this bad boy. We both could have banged that thing out with that much detail in two hours. I think that you're trying to save some people. I'm not trying to save anybody because I'm not blind right here, man. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Cam's got better shading and better application. And Holly's lines are cleaner. Her colors are more solid. Strictly based on technical application, my decision is for Janelle. Wait, I'm the only one that thinks the ape cat is the worst hat? We've checked off the marks of drawings to do stakes, layout, sizing, cover-ups. We've checked off all those boxes. Everybody here up. 100%. The thing that we are known for doing in this competition is putting ink in skin. Who did that the best and who did it the worst? That being stated, I would sway my vote to Janelle. The judges have decided, Janelle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Today, you must put your composition skills to the test and create negative space tattoos. What? Negative space is purposely leaving something untattooed. Just tattooing an image like you're used to, you're just flipping it and just tattooing the background instead to cut out your image. I'm gonna clean it up, but... What's negative now? The octopus. The octopus is negative. Yeah, and the anchor. I'm gonna do just like a black in the center, just faded just out just a little bit. Be Why is the awkward. octopus a negative? The reason the thing is negative is because that's where your eye is drawn to, because it's the contrast against that negative well, image. Well, negative so if you have two negative that's images. That's why I yeah. have this too. That yeah, is exactly. the way it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed I to be. I did both ways. Yeah, what are you gonna negative on an octopus for? Just showing you guys, calm down. You're wasting time not doing stuff that hits a challenge. Okay. It's creating a negative octopus on a negative anchor. I don't even know what that means. A lot of times we see artists overthink the challenge and they just end up trying to go overboard. I like marker a little bit more this way. Thinking clearly about what the challenge is and finding the most simple, bold way to hit the challenge is the smartest way to play this game. Jeremy's is chaotic. He's got the ship's wheel and the anchor and negative. Then he's got the tentacles going all over the place. I asked him to put everything inside the octopus, and he did. Steve thinks my design is too busy. If you over-detail it, it's going to be out of control. 
He thinks I should have gone simpler with this, but it's important for me to show the judges what a Jeremy Brown tattoo really looks like. Hey, what about little highlights on these little bolts? You really want to f that now? <laughs> As usual, Jeremy's like all over the place. The design looks crazy, and Steve is pissed right now. I mean, he's just not listening. Why not just do the anger? I don't know. He liked it. On the other hand, with my tattoo, I'm taking Steve's advice on this, tattooing something simple, clean, and just hitting the challenge. It's basically pull off that line, you know what I mean? And that's the best way to do it. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Jeremy's tattoo, two negatives don't make a positive. That thing looks like Today, you were being tested on composition with negative space tattoos. Let's see how you did. Jeremy. Technically, this thing is really strong, but as far as composition goes, you've got straight on diving helmet, straight on anchor, right on top of each other, and then the tentacles come straight down, and then they both go out on the side. There's no real flow that interacts with this anchor. It just gets really hard to see what's going on. You have eight tentacles, you show six, you had an opportunity to incorporate the other two. It might have been to your service, to show a little bit more of that thing flowing. This week, we're testing consistency. Consistency is starting a piece and finishing it with the same overall look and aesthetic. If you change your shading style or the way that you blend colors, it's gonna be all a mess. Today, you must work as a team to tattoo not one, but two tattoos on one human canvas at the same time. There's a lot of different factors that come into the difficulty of tattooing one person at the same time with multiple artists. You're in close quarters, pushing and pulling on skin. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be hardcore. Glad you guys got excited about the saber tooth. Yeah. Oh, I really love saber tooth tiger pieces in general, but trying to find a bone structure for an extinct animal could totally screw us up on this. The biggest thing is that one person has to draw it because one person draws each, they're already not gonna look the same. Definitely. The whole body's there, you got the back legs and stuff. Eh, boring. But boring. DJ, Does you guys, there's, there's no better options. There is better options. You just find a cool ass tiger and you draw the skeleton. Got a lot of negativity out of DJ, not a lot of direction. Five hours remaining and switch artists. I just, guys, like right now, okay, right now I'm using burnt and raw sienna, which is orange. I need something that's gonna turn to a golden brownie tan. You can't mix your brown into your... It's, I, then I need, I need something to cut it. Every color I have is becoming orange. I'm here to coach. I'm not here to wait on you hand and foot. Totally get rid of the highlight in here. It's gonna make them more mean. It doesn't have to be fierce. Let me work for two minutes. I'm not seeing what you're seeing yet, so I just wanna get some stuff in there, that's all. Tribal black. Off tribal that. Black? Tribal black. Yeah, get black. Get darker. And you don't even have to go far. I can't. I was just. Uh, okay, yeah. Josh is always trying to be the coach. He's sending me on errand runs. He's making design changes. This is not going well. Can you just bring that tail up a little bit more? I know that's going to be one thing that they're going to say. I think that's crazy they would say it because that's not the way it would be. It's proportionately shorter. If it was a male saber tooth that had a dick on this side, it's not going to have one on that side. It's the same thing with the tail. There's one thing I hate is disrespect, and especially to someone who's coaching you through this competition. One hour remaining. You know, throughout this, I had a lot of problems with Josh. Really? I just don't want to look like an idiot as a coach, dude. Oh, you're coaching your coach. I don't want to be telling you what to do, but this is how we have to do it. I don't want to be shut down everything I say. Yeah, yeah. So it's well, just you're like... You're the coach. You know what it takes to make it happen here. I feel like that whole thing went really well. I honestly couldn't be any happier how that turned out. We made two amazing tattoos, but the process getting there was a little rough. Right. It definitely seemed like there was a little more than one leader besides a coach. It seemed more like, you know, the Josh show more than working as a full team. I feel like I'm very versatile in this field and I've studied a lot of it and I know of what the judges want to see. But in all reality, you really don't. I've won this thing. I've made it through months of this 
This team thing is gonna be a lot easier with one person giving direction. I've always been one of those guys. If I see something that I don't think is going in the right direction, I would much rather speak up and get it out there. Moving forward, like your method could probably use a little adjustment. I can actually take you guys to the finale. Just listen once in a while. Today, you had to work as a team on two tattoos to prove your consistency. Team DJ. I could look at this cat, and I can't find areas where it looks like one person outshined the other or one person couldn't keep up with the other. I like the color palette. I really love the choice of going with the red bones. It gives this side of the tattoo a little bit of weight. From a design aspect, I think you could have moved a couple of body parts to make it look a little more fierce. I wish the mouth was open, I wish it was roaring. I wish that front paw wasn't in the way of the fang. I also wish you would have captured a little texture in the fur. It kind of has that seal, walrus type look to it. The actual anatomy gets a little confusing in the way it looks. You see how long the forearm of the red skeletal side looks in comparison to the forearm and where the bend is on the musculature side. From wrist to the elbow joint, they're not the same distance.